Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the last assembly from Fabisham for this academic year. It's a special one, and it's a big one, and we have a stellar cast with us today. I am so impressed with the number of stars I've seen around, and it's not even night time yet. It's not even night time. So many stars around. And this is a sad occasion as well. It's a sad occasion because we will be saying goodbye to some very special people who have been with us, many of them have been with us since they were this high, or was it this high? Yeah, and I remember, I can fact actually, I remember most of you when you were in nursery. When you were in nursery, can you imagine? How many years ago is that? How many years is that? Six, seven, some of you, seven you were in nursery. Seven years, it's amazing, isn't it? So, we're going to be saying goodbye to uh, a great cohort, and I have written a message for you guys, which Miss Riaz will share with everybody. And one of the things that I did say in the message was that you are a very special generation of people. Because you are the first people, first children, first cohort of children have gone through the COVID-19. And what's really amazing is that you've come through it so well. Yeah, you were so strong, so resilient. And not only that, and I want to say this, it's about compassion and kindness as well. You demonstrated kindness and compassion to everybody. And there's two things that I want to remind you of, uh, and some advice, some advice that's going to help you. And the first is add value to wherever you are. Okay, so don't, it's not about taking, it's always about the giving. Yeah, it's always about the giving. Add value to everything you do. And secondly, problems. There will always be problems in life. That's the nature of life. You can never have a problem-free world. If you did, you would get bored. Completely and utterly bored. Yeah, there will always be problems. And my favorite metaphor is about the rose and the thorns. Yeah? So you can see a rose flower, but you can as thorns well. Some people, they just focus on the thorns. If you're worried about being pricked by the thorns, they can't appreciate the radiance, the beautiful aroma of the rose. Okay, so remember that in life. There will be problems. That's wrong. The thorns are always there. The thorns are in your side all the time. But focus on the roses. And linked with that is this oh, well being. You know, you guys, I, I compare you guys to, to the generation of the Second World War. Yeah, this is the amount of disruption that's happened is comparable to that time. Yeah, and actually it was worse for us because you were confined to your homes. You couldn't go out. You were confined to your homes for, for so many weeks. But here's, the, here's the, the thing that will benefit you. You can't change circumstances. You can't always change the behavior of people. But what you can change is your own response. Yeah, you are the master of your response. You can change that. So guys, if you follow those, Three simple principles, I guarantee you. Yeah, I, I, I can't go into you any problems in life, you will have problems, but you will have a, a, a blessed life. And you will go through life not mourning or complaining, you'll be productive and you'll be helping people as well. So that's the sad thing we're going to be doing today. And the second thing, um, which we will be doing in a moment, is we are going to be remembering a very, very special student of ours who passed away this year. And we will be planting a tree in her memory. So we will be doing that shortly as well. Now, before we go, I just want to do a quick few shout outs. Miss Riaz, Miss Riaz, if you could come to the front, please. Miss Riaz, uh, there's Mr. Jay here. Mr. Jay. Now, Miss Riaz and Mr. Jay are being your main teachers. And can we have the, the real teachers as well? Real yes, teachers, Miss Khan, have you been in year six? Hey, you Miss Khan, the real teachers. Miss Khan, Miss Villamoria, Miss Villamoria. Guys, these people, right? Do you know, sometimes you see on, on the television on the, or here on the radio, people talk about teachers have inspired you. And you know what? When you guys go over, you will be telling your grandkids about these amazing teachers that you have. Yeah, you will be telling them about these amazing teachers that you have. And not just the yeah, six, but actually, the entire school. So we've got pan around. In fact, everybody around here has contributed to your education. Everybody has. And you remember that actually 
what they provided through such a difficult time was the best education in the country. And when I say this, I say this, and I'm choosing my words carefully, what we have provided at Perisham has been the, one of the best educations in lockdown compared to anybody. Okay, so, and that's down to this team here. And actually, let's not forget the supporting cast as well. Okay, so we have a few characters in the back as well. Let me see if you could pan, pan round, Miss. We have, we have some characters in the back. Yeah, well, there's a camera there waiting to run away. No, he's not. He's not. He's, do you know, the BFG was so spot on, wasn't it? Yeah, he's big, he's friendly, he's a giant, and he walks the same way as well. No. Right. Thank you. So, and Mr. Islam, Ms. Muktaz, you've had a big contribution. So, everybody has played a massive role in your education. So, it's not just about year six. So, guys, let's come and give a big round of applause to all your teachers. tell you about my experience in year six. My experience in year six has been an emotional roller coaster because some days I was happy, some days I was nervous, and some days I was worried. However, despite all those emotions, my teachers, staff, and friends were there to help me and support me. My friends have always had my back. We've helped each other, played with each other, and we've grown up together. Mr. Ajib and Ms. Tarek have always welcomed me and made me feel very comfortable in their class. They always made sure I understood the work that I was set. Every morning, I can never forget Mr. Ajib smiling with the same cup of green tea in his hand. <laughs> you know what, yeah, he's had that cup since he started school six years ago. And the tea is well, I think. He has believed in me and he has... Without him, I haven't have gained this much confidence. I remember him saying to me, Elvia, over the years, I've realized that you've gained more confidence. Once in maths, I asked Ms. Rea the question several times, and no matter how many times I asked her, she answered patiently until I understood. Not to forget all the other staff who have helped me as well. I cannot forget Mr. Idris's Tuesday assemblies with his fantastic wise words of wisdom. I just want to say a big thank you to all my teachers, staff and friends who have helped me along this journey. I will miss you all so much and I will always remember you in my duas. Beautiful and touching and from the heart. And you know what? Look at the confidence, confidence that brings you there. So we're gonna be okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay, guys. So I think we're gonna follow now. We're gonna follow our very own VFG to the land of the giants, and we're gonna plant a tree. So, so guys, in a moment, we're going to stand up very carefully, keeping the distance between you, and we're going to follow Mr. Um, uh, Fox down to the forest school where we'll be planting tree. Okay, Mr. Fox? So, Mr. Fox, we'll just follow, we can follow Mr. Fox, please. Okay, guys, we're gonna. Uh, in fact, let's, while we're going, we need to be a few people in the room. Guys, I just wanted to mention this man here, a pillar of our community and of our school. And just a few words to give you for that. Well, obviously, you've had a big role in this year six as well. It's a good and fair and so just a few words for you, sir. Um, I think as a whole school, we've worked together really well. 
and mashallah with your leadership mr idris um we've been innovative in the way we were teaching in this lockdown which was unprecedented we never thought of it before and this year six and the rest of the school i firmly believe and from experience and talking to people Throughout the whole country, we have given them, that means our school as a whole, have given them the best, best education uh, compared to the whole of the country. Uh, and I mean, I've been spoken to lots and lots of teachers, lots of head teachers. So, mashallah, the teachers have put in a lot of effort. I don't want to uh, pull the uh, put a light towards myself. I think it's all the teachers. They've all done a better job. With it. And coming on to the pupils, I think you pupils have been resilient, you've been patient, and you've been adaptable to the new situations. So well done all the pupils, well done all the staff, well done the leadership. And Mr. Dada, I wanted to say that actually, we've all had to learn new skills throughout this, and you've learned a new set of skills of the online, <laughs> online learning. We've been teaching online. Uh, it's so the last time Google Classroom. We've been, we've been learning new ways of technology that previously we would have not even thought about Google Forms and recordings and teaching them online. Um, but here's a personal, it's nice to have learned sign language as well. Oh, really? <laughs> a bit of it. Wow, that's fantastic. Oh, really? So what we're going to do, is, uh, so we're obviously we're going to go now outside now of, uh, and look at the front tree for two minutes. Hold on, we will walk and talk, miss. I, in fact, I don't know. Do you follow us here? So, um, Mr. Idris, inshallah, the radio station that Yes. Um, that is going to be one of our yeah. one of our flagships. Uh, something that we're going to come up with. So this is not just lockdown and it's finished. It's actually as we go along. It's something a new curriculum that we've actually thought of as well. So addressing the needs of the future as well. So Mr. Dad, have you any any thoughts about any uh, memories of Tumi that you have? And me, I remember. The fantastic thing is, when I was asked to take over year five, that was two years first year, which is very that way, that way. towards the uh, first school. And when she came in, she was very, very timid and very quiet. And, and but the nice thing about her, she was very soft. Connection still there? And I said, if the connection goes, we will join you shortly. Once the back cross to. I'll give the commentary. Is that okay? Yeah. So if you, if you speak along, I'll give the commentary here. So at the moment, what's happening is we've got all the year sixes sitting here, and 
including one of our children uh, who became ill recently and over time the illness deteriorated and she left us. So in her memory, what we're actually doing is to remember that she spent a long time in our school. What we're doing is we're planting a tree as a memory for her. And over there, you can see we've got the head teacher, Mr. Idris, we've got his six children as well, and then and if you notice they're all sat down in social distancing on this side we just hand this way over here we've got the rest of the staff okay sat on mr lindsay all the way so all of the children although they're not from year six uh, uh, of uh, key workers and other situations in the school um, we've got other children coming over here. Um, again, we are just social distance. So on this side, we've got this staff right at the far end. I don't know if you can zoom. Right over there, we've got Mr. Hawks, we've got Mrs. Riaz, and in a moment we'll have Mr. Ajay standing over there as well. I'm just Mr. Giving Plum the, tree, sir. Yeah, I'm just giving so the running got, commentary. We've got Plum tree. And what we're going to be doing is putting uh, and Mr. Idris just tells us what the focus, Mr. Idris. Yes. Mr. Idris is just so telling me they've now. Selected that a plum tree, which was one of our favourite fruits. Yeah. Fantastic. So, Mr. Idris is saying that because one of our favourite fruits was the plum tree, uh, that's what we're going to be inshallah, planting as well. Yes, as you were saying about her kindness, the tree will be giving. Yes. Keep giving. Yeah, yeah. The, the, tr the trees, you know, they say the trees keep giving. The, tree, the, the fruits of the tree, inshallah. And we never know. Let us know when you're ready. Thanks. So at the moment, we've got. At the moment, again, we've got the next set of children coming. Am I okay standing here? Can you see me here? We've got the next set of children just actually come in. And again, if you notice, they're all sitting in lines, uh, a meter away from each side, from the front, from the back, from the sides. And we have the teachers here. Uh, we have the staff on this side. Um, all the staff in the general panel on that way. And then. Yeah, okay, so now we're about to start the planting ceremony. Okay, over there you can see the head teacher, Mr. Idris. Uh, he's standing there with his grey suit. I think that's the first time he's put it on. It looks quite good with it. And that big time, Mr. Idris, you look lovely with it, honest to God. And in the background, you can see Mrs. Abzal as well. Um, she, she's been, uh, she's had a little baby. She's come back after a, a good year. Mashallah, she's had lots of rest. And, over there, Mr. Ajay, we've got Mr. Islam and Mr. Fox now just talking a little bit about the, um, the yeah. country itself. Yeah, and that's Mr. Uh, Iqbal, just facing towards him. Mr. Iqbal, and there he is. Yeah, he's, he's got his mask on at the moment, he's going it down. The person had it open, now he's put it down. I don't know what he's up to. Um, Just behind Mr. Hawks, we've got Afseed. Is it Afseed? Afseed. One of the reasons why we chose Afseed was because she was very, very close to, to me. Um, there is Mr. Hawks. He's got the plant in his hand. He's got the made tree. And inshallah, uh, what we're going to do is, 
once we take it out from there, we're going to put it inside. I think it's already been dug. Krishna Linsby, has that already been dug before? Is there a hole over there? Yeah, yeah okay. So, and it's really unfortunate that we can't actually um, uh, show you as close as possible because of our connection problems. But then it's the uh, box is holding the, uh, the, the plant nice and high. And then this is um, the house which is the hole in the hand and she's taking those pictures so that we can utilize them later on, inshallah. And we've got Mrs. Granger on that side. Mrs. Granger, you can go Yeah, now, take it with you. Take this with you. Yeah. So if we go, to get closer, Miss. At the moment, I'm just getting a bit closer now, trying to get close as possible. Just hold it there, Abdi. Hold it there for a minute. So we're just about. We planted the actual plant right now. Just a box pulled out the roots, and so that the roots can actually extend into the ground. Um, I've seen she's giving it the final touches. She's got the fertilizer, and she's putting it inside in the moment. And you'll see on the left-hand side we've got Mrs. They are, and then we've got Mr. Fox on this side, we've got Mrs. Granger, and then Mr. Ajay on that side. And there you are, you were giving it the last shakes of the, the, the and then soil. What you normally do and then, is I've got to get on here that you want to give it a good bit of pressing to get it nicely down in the ground there with your heel. Just push it in so it's nice and firm. Get the soil around it. I'm going to get Mr. J to help me. We're going to put this stake here. Somewhere at the back there. They're usually stake is for what, Mr. Fox? Just give us a little explanation. Why do we use those stakes? Right, so the stake, obviously, when you put a new tree in, it, it needs to move a bit. Because if it can't move a bit, then its roots don't get strong. So you allow it to move a little bit. You don't want it shaking around in the wind. I think this is going to be a really good spot from the wind and it's full in the sun so it should be good here oh, and that's mr j but he's showing you some of his strength at the moment don't pass it too hard mr that's it take it easy Oops, sorry there they are yeah yeah Again, like we mentioned earlier on, one of the reasons why we've chosen the plum tree, like we said, this mentioned earlier on, it was the tree that, was, that Dumi actually liked nice at that time. Just to keep so it in her memory. And maybe in years to come, what we will do is, we'll be picking the plums up here. And maybe this is the first of many. What we could do is, as our children, they love gardening with one of our uh, members of staff here, Mr. Mahmood. Mr. Mahmood normally takes our children to the allotments. And in the allotments, they are learning all sort of gardening, so they're becoming Kedi Bari Wale, you know, Zimi that type of people as well. So, um, they, maybe in future, you never know, there might be many, many more trees Perfect. here. Perfect. I don't think Pardon? you're worried, but there might be... Might Jimmy, be your mic's on. Around. Can you just switch it so off, please, Jimmy? That around the bottom, just to protect it while it's young. Hopefully... Couple of years, we'll take that off because the tree will be strong enough. And there we go. And then, as you can all imagine, it needs plenty of water. And I'm hoping that Mr. Lindley, where's Mr. Oh, there you are. I'm hoping, I know I don't want to give you too many extra jobs, Mr. Lindley, but if you are able to come out. Now and again, and give it a bucket of water. That will and help. What we will do is, once that, we've completed everybody. that, then we'll give it a big um, round of applause. It's going to look. We're actually going to do a minute silence. Yeah, we we hope eventually, to everybody, this tree is meant to be about three meters high, so it should grow up just <laughs> nicely <laughs> over the fence. I hope so. Um, we know it's got all your best wishes, and that should uh, that should really help it grow. Um, Thank and you, I'm Mr. sure Fox. you'll want to come back and see for yourself. Brilliant. Thank you. Good. I would say you know.
fantastic job. Okay, so before we have a minute, Miss Riaz, if you just want to say a few things, words back to me, and then we'll have a minute. Well, what can I say? Um, I think seeing all the children back in school today has made me realise just how special to me was and that she's not here. All we can do is just pray that she's in a better place. She's going to be looking down, laughing, smiling, probably cracking a few jokes about these guys, wherever she is. Um, and I ask everybody just to keep her in your prayers and in your duas. One thing I am going to say about Timmy is she was ready for a party. So um, I think once Leavers Assembly, if we'd been in normal circumstances, we'd had a party, she would have been the life and soul of that party. And the purple on the um, plum tree was her favourite colour. So I'm just grateful to have donated to the tree that they've chosen her favourite colour. So there'll always be a reminder of to me for us all to remember for years to come. Thank you. So guys, we're going, to, we're going to do one minute silence. And then we're going to stop the broadcast while we regroup and then we'll carry on the second part of the assembly. After that. Okay guys, so just a quick one minute silence just remember to me. Uh, remember... Hi everyone, it's Mr. Rotherham here. Unfortunately, you can't see me because my camera isn't working, but I am going to just fill this gap with a little bit of music and I've got a very special song that I've done just for year six. Um, so here it is. Sounds funny, but I just can't take the pain. Guys, you're leaving us tomorrow. I hope you know that we've done all we can to give you all a bright tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the song is cheesy. Ah, 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 ah. It's cheesy like all goodbye songs. Yeah, 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 yeah. The song is cheesy. Yeah. It's cheesy like Gorgonzo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've known you all since you were tiny toddlers. Seen you grow into brilliant beings. So I went and wrote a little cheesy song for you. 
full of positive affirmations. Oh yeah, be the best you can be. The sun is cheesy. Wave your hands, everybody. It's cheesy like all goodbye songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The song is cheesy. Yeah, yeah. It's cheesy like all goodbye songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this bit goes high. So high, and it has lots of words like you'll succeed if you just try. Fly high like a bee, um, in a tree. Yeah, yeah. Gorgonzola, yeah, yeah, yeah. The song is cheesy, yeah, yeah. It's cheesy like all goodbye songs, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you and goodbye, year six. Enjoy the rest of the assembly. Started my class. Sorry. I have <laughs>
आपसे
when we reconvene in the hall. So enjoy watching the lockdown video and we'll meet you shortly. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Um, this is Mr. Islam here. Um, I wanted to take this opportunity to talk about um, the activities I've done during lockdown. Now, I know lots of teachers have come in um, onto this slot and talked about their experiences and what they've learned. Well, mine is a little bit different and I wanted to tell you a little bit about this. Um, the lockdown itself has affected all of us. Um, so my experience is a little bit different from the rest of the Ferguson family um, because since the lockdown, I have been working from home because uh, I've been advised by my doctors to be shielded from the virus. I am one of the shielded people. Now, you may ask, what are shielded people? Well, these are people with existing health problems. Um, if they get the COVID-19, they will suffer the most and sometimes even die. This is the reason why uh, they have to stay away from people and anything that may pass uh, on this virus. I am shielded because, um, as some of you will already know, I have had um, three different cancers and a stroke in the last 10 years. Um, I have uh, had major operation and take really, really strong medicine um, and procedures to make me better. Um, things like chemotherapy, radiotherapy, radioiodine treatment, to name a few. Um, these procedures and medicines have made my immune system um, weak. The immune system is the shield that protects us from illnesses. And this is why I am shielded. And my shield, because of having these treatment, has become weaker. Now, most people are saying this is a new normal. Well, they're, they're experience, experiencing difficulties and adjusting to new situation. For me, or people who have had major illnesses um, or injuries, um, have had to adapt to life after these incidents, and it's nothing new. Um, so, I mean, in terms of my experience, for me, this is the fifth time at um, at each, after each of the cancers I've had, and a stroke, um, I've had, had to readjust and learn new things from the beginning. For example, a simple thing like eating, because I've had surgery all through on my face, on my neck. Um, I had to learn to eat again, so I eat quite slowly. Um, I can't have a big bite because my mouth doesn't open um, too much. Um, I'm also, uh, I also have to drink um, lots of water because my salivary gland has become inactive and I have to, you may have seen me around school always carrying a bottle of water. Um, the other problems I have is, for example, speaking for a long time. Um, without water, I will stop after a bit. Sometimes I tend to speak very loud, sometimes very, um, uh, very quietly because I have... Um, 
voice stamina and projection problems since um, having these um, illnesses. Now, um, most people looking from outside will see me as a healthy person and will ask questions. And some even will make judgments about the way I do things. Um, you know, sometimes like um, having water during Ramadan, for example, um, not knowing that without water, I won't be able to um, do my fast. Um, sometimes I'm talking too loud, sometimes very quietly um, because of the problems I've had since um, the illnesses. Now, not many, not everybody knows what the problems are, but I would advise people um, in general situation is to be nice to people because we don't know what people have been going through. A wise man once told me, you cannot always change your circumstances um, that are beyond your control. Now, I've, got, I've had all these illnesses. These were out of my control. I, as far as I thought, was living a healthy life. I exercised, I did everything right, but I still ended up getting these illnesses. Sometimes you're just unlucky, but it's out of my control. You can't also control the behavior of, of those around you, what other people um, do. But what you can do is master your own response. You can decide to respond positively and also make um, the best of the situation. So we've got a situation of this coronavirus. We've got to make the best of it. We can't just sit back and complain. I always think you need to have a positive mindset. To get through difficulties, mental well-being is just as important, if not more, than physical health. So you need to make the most of it. Um, so here's some of the things I have done um, with help of my family. I couldn't do everything by myself, um, but I have been involved um, with my family during lockdown. Now I'm gonna try and get onto the uh, presentation mode. So just bear with me. Um, take me a little time. Just bear with me. Okay, here are some of the things I have done during um the breakdown now lots of these things i haven't done before so uh i have been helped by my family um to do that um one of the things i did was baking i'm not normally very good at cooking or baking but my daughter sarah was really really good she persuaded me to have a go here is the result of um what i did um to make chocolate fondants this is going to be um a bit detailed well, um, but um, as we go further, I will talk about other things I've done. So to make this chocolate fondant, I needed these ingredients. So as you can see in the picture, you've got eggs, you've got butter, you've got chocolate, you've got flour, you've got sugar, you've got cocoa powder, and you've got a little bit of butter here as well. Okay. Now, the first thing I did was I've got the eggs, the sugar, and the flour into a bowl and then mixed it as you can see then um got the butter and the chocolate in the bain marie bain marie is all uh, just uh, a dish with some water which is heated up and that and this in turn melts the chocolate and the butter so once we've done both of these you mix all the ingredients together and here it is mixed then what you do is get some ramekins. I've been told there's another name for this. My daughter knows it, but, um, but we call them ramekins. Grease them using um, 
some litter, as you can see, all these four. I'm, I'm actually made eight, but I've got picking up four here. The next thing is um, also um, cover them with cocoa powder. So you put the cocoa powder in there and take the excess out, and this is what you end up because the but it sticks to the butter. Then you fill the ramekins with the mixture. And it goes into the oven um, at 200 degrees for 15 minutes. And then when they come out, they look lovely, as you can see. And, th and th there is one here with some ice cream. Um, and it's ready to eat. Delicious. Some of the other things I've done during um, the lockdown. Well, it, we had some really, really good weather. So we had a barbecue. Um, I've got a gas barbecue here, and we've got a charcoal one here. So I use both um, to make these um, lovely food, and here it is served on the plate. What else did I do? Well, um, painting. We've got a balcony around two sides of our house, as you can see. Um, and Mrs. Islam has been going on about getting this painted onto a different colour, which matches um, the slate here, as you can see, on the doormat. So um, this is a picture taken during the winter, as you can see, um, um, with, with the snow. So I think this, not last winter, the winter winter before when we moved into the house. So we had, we had to paint the balcony. So I got the paint. And here it is, we, we, we are painting. So this is part of the balcony. This is half painted. This bit still need to do. And we've got to do the banisters here as well. So that's in uh, painting in pro, uh, progress. Uh, it was done during a really hot day. Um, here it is, done. So um, that's uh, one side of the balcony. That's the other. And we've got some lights here and things like that. Okay. Um, this was on a sunny day. Here's a picture of it on a cloudy day. It does match the um, the, the, the slates on the balcony. Another thing I did, Mrs. Islam then decided that, oh, well, since we've done the balcony, the, um, uh, the flagstones and the brickwork on the, on the garden um, it looks a bit dirty. So uh, we decided, myself and my son, uh, Sammy, we decided that we would do the jet wash. So here's a here's a jet washing machine. We've got one of those. We um, uh, connected it up with um, the hose and we jet wash the whole garden. This is the front side of the garden. Um, this is the back garden, and we haven't. We, ha we I don't think I've got the pictures of the side sides. So we 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 did that all that path and all, all the front side as well. So it took a long time. It, actually, we did it over two days. The next task we had to do was trimming the hedges. And you do that with a hedge trimmer. Again, um, we've got hedges um, on three sides of our house. Um, and here's the outside. So we trim that side and the top. And here, here it is on from the other direction. There's from the inside, as you can see, how flat, how well this bit, this bit's done. Um, we have to use a ladder to get to the top. We try and leave the top bit um, without flattening it because we get lots of birds stinging during the summer. We have lots of birds. Um, here's the other other side of the picture there. Right, the next job. Um, well, um, I was never into gardening, but um, I thought I've got plenty of time. Um, so I start started looking at plants. And again, my kids are a lot better. Uh, and Mrs. Islam is a lot better than me in choosing plants. So they went to the garden centre and got these. Um, that's a lavender, evening primrose. Um, that's a marigold. Um, Grapevine. I was. I. I. I thought um, we couldn't have grapes in this country because the weather's a bit cold. But I did hear 
from a friend of mine on the grapevine that he has planted some and he's had grapes. So I thought, why not try it? So I planted some grapevines. Um, this is bay leaves, which is sometimes used in Asian curries. So we thought, why go and buy it? We should, we got a garden. We can uh, we can grow it. So uh, I went. Um, we 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 got the bay leaf tree and I planted it. Um, these are uh, our apple tree and grew. Um, well, I st actually this was done last year. We. Um, got these dwarf apple trees so they don't grow too much because they, if they've got roots they might affect our house so these are short uh, apple trees but as you can see we've got lots of apples this year cherry tree yes again we we planted that last year but that started giving us um, um, cherries and here's some I picked uh, which were delicious again um, we've got a pear tree this year. We've only had two pears. Hopefully next year we'll get a lot more and I also planted these um, These are Asian courgettes um, My mum calls them Bangla Kodu because um, the second bit is the Bengali name for courgette and um, If they grow maybe I can share um, if we get some um, harvest we'll uh, usually get them around september well late august september i may um, share them with you uh, in an assembly in the picture uh, um in the future hopefully so they just started to starting to grow um strawberries we got some strawberries here they are we've got some potato plants here um what else plums and you can see this is a close-up picture um these are still green it'll take um another month or so before they are ripe for us to eat but we have got some um plums we, we're growing some courgette and you can see courgette flower here um and as you can see here the courgette will come um come here sometime um we've had fried courgette flower which tastes lovely as well so if you can't wait for the courgette to grow, try um, the flower. Um, runner beans, we've got lots of these. Again, and you can see the red flower there. There's there's some there. Um, they, they will take another month or so before we can, we can harvest them. Some flowers, I don't actually know the names of these flowers, but they're growing on our hedges. Um, if I do find out, I will tell you. But this one, I do know the name of it. Roses, and we've got rose bushes here. Um, this is a close-up picture of the rose bush. Lilies. Mrs. Islam loves the lilies. Um, so we bought some of these. This is before they opened up. This is when it's opened up. And they've got a really lovely fragrance. And we also thought we'll, we'll have some herbs. So we got mint, um, we got parsley, um, and my daughter uses them to the mint to make mojitos. Um, we use the herbs during cooking quite a lot. We got basil, and you can see a lot of the basil have been taken out. So um, they, they, they grow very quickly. And this um, is a chili plant. Um, this is a really, really um, um, hot chili. Um, it's one of the hottest you can have. Um, uh, in Bangla, they call it Naga, and it's like the king of the chilies. Um, and finally, here's me. After all that hard work, uh, um, I'm relaxing in my uh, balcony, which I've just painted. Thank you very much for listening, and over to you, Mr. Mr. Hassan. Thank you. Thanks. Bye-bye.
important talk. I want all your children to be absolutely silent. What do I want you to be? Silent! Silent when you speak to a teacher boy. Now when we go on this trip, it is very important that we... You! Yeah. Please be paying attention. What's yeah. the matter? Perhaps you don't want to go on this trip? Perhaps you have somewhere you'd rather be? Well, I was given a new FIFA game, FIFA 20. New FIFA? Yeah, new it's FIFA the best game. one ever. Right, off you go then. Yeah, I'd rather be there than this school. Oh, Ma, is there anywhere else you'd rather be? I want to go to Portugal, miss. You want to go to Portugal? Yeah. Well, what about all your friends? I want them to come with me. You want them to come with you? Can we go? Yeah, we can. Where's the coach? This way. Are you guys following? Summer holiday, no more worries for me or you. For a week or two, we're going where the sun shines brightly. We're going where the sea is blue. You've seen it in the movies. Now let's see if it's true. Fun and laughter on a summer holiday. We got to fun and laughter on a summer holiday. No more work.
our Year 6 Leavers Assembly. I'd like to welcome the children. Hello children! And I'd like to welcome the staff. I'd like to welcome the parents. And we have got some fantastic certificates that we'll be presenting shortly. We've got plenty of entertainment. So now I'm going to hand over to the children. Look everybody, see you at your new school. Bye. Sorry, my mistake. Too much to think about. It's not children, it's the teacher's messages to you and your families. Bon chance pour l'avenir. Five, six, seven, eight. Keep dancing! <laughs> Goodbye Year 6, have a great time in your next school. You've been awesome and thanks so much for the Portugal trip. <laughs> Goodbye Year 6 and remember, never stop asking questions. Like Mrs Thomas has just said, don't forget to ask the questions but you also need to listen to the answers. Boys and girls, paint your future and be the best you can be. And keep knitting. Look, and all the best, Year 6. To be or not to be, Year 6, that is the question. Acting, dancing, singing. Use your talents wisely at your secondary schools. Remember, you can take a child out of Feversham, but you'll never take Feversham out of the child. Good luck, everyone. Off we go. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, everyone. Glad that you were here. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, everyone. Glad that you were here. Glad that you were here. Bye bye everyone. <laughs> On a more serious note, you will be missed year six. I feel that the year has been slightly unfair to you, but we've had some great moments for all the way from September through to March in school and then on the virtual lessons, on the Google Meets, some of the laughter, some of the problems with logging on, logging off, and the time that you've spent with each other. Just enjoy those memories. Thank you. Bye. by year six and if there's one really really important piece of advice that I can give you it's this never ever forget sorry I can't I can't remember what it was what was it Uncle Robin never forget oh I can't remember either can't we just leave it at never forget that will work hmm, good idea Uncle Robin yeah it's this year six. Never forget. There we go.
2020 will be remembered for a long time. It's going to be like what Mr. Idris said earlier on. We, when we do history, we're talking about the Second World War and the evacuees, kids your age, going to the countryside because you wasn't safe you're, uh, in the city. But yours has been even worse. Okay? But I have been calling you pioneers. Why was I calling you pioneers? Those people I was talking to, does anybody remember? Well, because I've been teaching for about 25 years. I know I don't look it, but 25 years. And every year, I've been involved with the SARS. Virtually every year, involved with the SARS. You are the first year group who has managed to avoid it. So, well done. <laughs> um, so, um, that's, that's the first thing. The second one, in terms of our school, you're the first ones to go and uh, have a class upstairs, okay? Um, just the last thing, I'll just echo what Mr. Idris said earlier on. We are in a situation we can't do anything about. This COVID-19 situation, we didn't ask for it. It's here, but it's about how you respond to it. You need to respond to it positively. Okay, and I'm sure from what your teacher said, you will do a great job moving forward. Yeah, you you will you will do well. One of the things I find when I'm walking around Bradford, believe it or not, a lot of kids who I used to teach, but they are on the there, they're adults, and you know things like me when I got, went to the optician, the lady on the other side, believe it or not, was somebody who was in my class. I went to change my tires um, a few months ago. The person running the tire place it was somebody I taught. And these are the things that make me really, really proud that I became a teacher. Okay? And I'm hoping in the future, when I'm an old man and you're an adult, you'll look after me as well and everybody else here. Thank you very much. Have a great secondary school experience and hopefully you'll go to university and so on. Okay? Thank you very much. Yeah, 
ask them to read out these words, and these are will be in your yearbook that we've put together. Um, so I'm going to read it out to you. I've been truly inspired by our current cohort of Year 6 children, that's you guys here. Despite an unprecedented academic year that has been seen so much disruption in the entire nation. This generation of Year 6 will be remembered as the children who lived through difficult, confusing and chaotic times. They were confined to their homes during lockdown, unable to meet up their friends or attend physical school. Yet this Year 6 has shown immense courage, fortitude and kindness. They've adapted to new ways of learning and being and they've discovered the richness of the soul even if the body is confined. They've nurtured their relationships, immersed themselves in the arts and continued to spread compassion. And I can totally agree with the spirit of these words that you guys have been absolutely amazing throughout the lockdown period. In years to come, you'll look back at this time and realise that COVID-19 pandemic was a turning point. You've chosen to hide away, give up and be bitter, but instead, you rose to the challenge and made the best of a difficult decision. It is these skills that allow you all to succeed in secondary school and through the rest of your life. It may be the end of your time in primary school, but it's just the beginning of a magical and wonderful journey for you all. Remember that you cannot, you cannot always change circumstances that are beyond your control or the behaviour of those around you, but you are the master of your response. The series always says you are in charge of your own destiny. You make your life on that journey forward, however you want it to be, and I want you to always remember that, please. Choose to respond positively, kindly, and with a genuine desire to add value to everything. There will always be thorns in life, but continue to focus on the radiance of the roses. And I hope over the coming years we will remain in touch with Fenton Primary and your magical memories will draw you back to us from time to time. I'm also going to open that invitation to all of you. When we are beyond September and we're back to a little bit of normality, we are going to invite you back to do something a little bit bigger and a little bit better in just the way that we do it at Fenton. So in the meantime, treasure and nurture the great times that you had at Feversham and turn your gaze to the even greater opportunities that are waiting. And I'm telling you now, I wish you all the very best of luck at your secondary schools. Thank you.